Today in this video, I am going to teach you how to activate a virtual environment using a specific version of Python. And if you are new to virtual environment, I will give you a brief intro and tell you how to install, start and activate a virtual environment. So keep watching. There are cases when you are working on different projects and you want to have different version of Python for different projects, say Python 3.7 and Python 3.8. In this video, I am going to tell you how to do that on Mac OS. You can replicate the same in Windows and Linux using the PowerShell or Command Line. Before jumping in, I will request you to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications as it will keep us motivated and we will keep on producing helpful videos for you. For the purpose of this video, I assume that you know what a virtual environment is and why do we use it. However, I will give you a quick intro here. Virtual environment is a kind of a container which runs specific version of Python and its module and it is used in the cases where you are working on two different projects which has different dependencies. Say you have a project A and another project project B and you want to run Django 1.11 in project A and Django 2.0 in project B. In that case you will be needing virtual environment. Prior to Python 3 there was an independent library called virtual n and you have to install it using pip but all the versions of Python 3 ships with an inbuilt library called van so you do not need to install anything. Both virtual n and when solve the same problem and work in a very similar way. So now let's move to the next part of the video. So in my PC I have two versions of Python installed. If I type Python 3, so it is Python 3.7.2 and Python 3.8.2. And for some reasons, I have the legacy version of Python in Mac too. I think it has sneaked in with Anagona, which I installed for the last video. And see, there is a warning. Python 2.7 is not recommended. So we will stay away from it. So coming back to the track, let's create a new folder. mkdir first n. And now let's cd into it. We can create a virtual environment by saying Python 3 minus M when environment name. And we can activate it by saying source and name when activate. So it has activated the virtual environment. Now let's check its version. So it is version 3.7.2 and on windows we will be doing dot dot backslash when hyphen name backslash scripts backslash activate. Now what if we want to activate a virtual environment with python 3.8.2 create another directory mkdir second environment and cd into that directory. Now to create a virtual environment in python 3.8 we will have to do python 3.8 minus m when second environment. And now if we will activate it by doing source second n then activate. This is lots of typing. At the end of this video, I will tell you a bonus hack to do it quickly. So now we will activate it and now let's check the version of Python. So it is now Python 3.8.2. Instead of writing Python 3.8, we can also use the full path of the location where Python 3.8.2 is installed. For that we will have to deactivate it. And first of all, we will do Python 3.8. And to check the location of Python 3.8, we have to import 
says and then print sys dot executable so this is the location of python 3.8 so let's copy it and exit cd and create a new directory and now we can activate it by copying this and then minus m when third and so here the third virtual environment has been created and source third and then activate so here is a bonus tip instead of typing the name of the virtual environment as we have done you can also add a period and it will create the virtual environment with the name of the folder itself and you can activate it by typing source bin slash activate let's create a new folder and now we can do python 3.8 minus m when and to activate it we just have to do source bin activate and see it has created a virtual environment with the name of the folder itself this is the name of the folder fourth hyphen n and this is the name of the virtual environment fourth hyphen n you can also do the same in the windows and to activate such kind of virtual environment in windows you have to do dot dot slash script slash activate and it will activate the virtual environment i always use this method to create a virtual environment what do you think which method is better is it naming a virtual environment or using the period leave your answer in the comment section below or participate in the poll shown in the cards above this is it for this video hope you have enjoyed it if you have liked our video please give a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications thanks for now